I'm going to an abbey today in Rotherham. Don't know much about it. No, there's not much of it left. We've got a route from there, so. Let's see what it's like when we get there. It's just the path down. It's called Brush Abbey. I don't think I can even get in it without paying, so. Let's see what we can do. I think it's 12th century. It's in the Abbey, it's just at the entrance. Let's go have a look. Well, I've just walked past where I assume you normally pay. There wasn't anyone there, so I just carried on. So, just play dumb. Someone asked. Just said it now. Fence in way. I don't know if we can get around it, I don't think so. There we go. That's really important. It mentions a date on there, but I'm sure it's 12th century. From where I can remember. Yeah, starting 12th century. Just there. Alright pal. That seems to be quite impressive. Quite big. I don't actually know what happened to it. I'll have to find that bit out. But it was huge. I mean there's benches over there, so I'm assuming you go in. I'm assuming now you go in. You go through the little building over there and they lay through the door. I'm not going to pay to get in where I can just see it here, to be honest. I don't know why you would. I think quite honestly you could just jump the fence, but I'm not going to. This isn't even the beginning of my route, this is just on the way to the start of my route. I'll show you my route while we're just wandering around. I can load it up. So there is the route. I think it's about 10 mile maybe? Oh, we're just on the start of it now, so. Pick his direction. Here we go. Straight on. We're over there. Like a little cave up here. Let's go and look at that before we start. It wasn't a cave, it's just a overhang. There you go, typical. Master's camp. What a surprise. <laughs> Alright, start this walk. Well, uh, see how much it is to get in this. If it's not too bad, then we'll go in. If not, get a decent view anyway.
One thing I haven't brought though today, it's only waterproof clothing and got my waterproof case for the GoPro. So I'm hoping it doesn't rain. Amateur mistake. Should have expected it in England, shouldn't I? Yes, they said gave out no rain today. Chance of rain, so. But as long as it's only drizzle, we'll be fine. stream down here. The noise is that little pump over there. She's been pumping water out of here. It's pretty clear. Not bad at all. I don't know what river this is. Have a look. Oh. It's got Furbeck Dyke. I believe Furbeck. Is the place we're walking up to. I'm probably not even pronouncing that right. But I'm sure that's what we're walking towards. Let's keep going. Nice little river. Other than that generator, or pump, it's pretty quiet out here. Not seen many people. One person off in the distance, looks like they're going the same route out here. But other than that, not a sausage. We've got those stones roof tiles, I think it's because they're restoring a lot of the buildings down there. It's just an old farm. So I'm assuming they're restoring the buildings. People to live in, I assume. A bit bad place to live, though, but. Can't imagine it's cheap though either. So interesting spider. Look. Eight spiders. I don't want to see the spider what's made that. Look at some people, people over there. Carry on. These fields have gone for miles. We're heading into that forest in front of us. And then up there. It feels gone for ages. There's public paths all the way around it. So it's a decent place for a walk. No idea what these woods are called. I'm hoping I can find out when I get there. Still drizzling, but not too bad. As long as it don't get any stronger, I'll be fine. Looks like we're coming up to what looks like a memorial. Should have been a warming up memorial. I think what else would be. Let's have a look. Furbeck. So this used to be an airfield site, which makes sense, to be honest. Big, huge piece of flat land, slap bang pretty much in the middle of the UK. So we're just here. So that would have been straight in front. Living in sites, that would have been just over there. Yeah. I'm assuming these would have been the original stones from the RAF base, which I assume is why they're the only ones left. 
left to me was a give you an idea. But you never know without this here. But it does make sense. Interesting. 1940 to 1948. We're well, just now heading into Furbeck itself. Apparently, it's a very good pub. Last time, I said I wasn't going to go, and I went. This time, I'm going to see how it goes. See what it looks like. I'm hungry. So that might be my excuse. <clears throat> Much of all that would have been like that, wasn't it? It would have been huge. Right, just want to see what this pub looks like. So yeah, I went to a pub. It's called the Black Lion. Furbeck. Really quiet, no one in there apart from me. But it was, you know, quarter past twelve on a random Tuesday, so. Yeah, really good. Black Lion, decent sized car park. There you go, decent beers. There will be a picture in the video, the sort of inside, and just the beer, but didn't take too many. It's, it feels a bit weird when you're on your own. So yeah, now I'm walking towards. Uh, Loughton, I think it's called. Don't know, find out when we get there. I've got to walk down this path for a couple of miles. I'll we'll see where it takes us. No more pubs, I don't think, so. No more beers, unfortunately. Really nice house around here, though, especially back there. in a bit. Heading back to the Abbey now, so I'm not too far away from it. I'm gonna have a quick look, see how much it is. See if we can find out a bit more about it. It's been a decent walk. Took about three-ish hours. Could probably do it done quick if you don't stop off at pubs like I did. But yes. <coughs> it's been a good one. Weather's held out as well, not rained too much, so good job, but I didn't uh Good job it didn't, because I didn't have any waterproofs. I 
know what this wood's actually called. I think it's a nice short one. It's right next to the abbey though. So I think I'll walk down here for a couple of miles. Uh, pretty much follow the river. Which is somewhere down there. We have not seen anyone, not seen many people. I can have a route there. So, that's been very quiet, which is good. Seen a fox. Just buy it. This is much wildlife you're going to see in this country to be honest, a fox. Alright. Talk to you when we get back to Abbey. A small waterfall here. Looks like there's a little memorial just in this corner hidden. Which is nice. Up here. There's not something you don't often come across. Quite rare. Not something that I've seen in the, in the wild before, I'll be honest. It's just up here where I see it. And hopefully... Where is it? Where is it? Oh! There they are. A pair of oddball pants. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, right next to Abbey now. So I think it's just across this little river. I see stepping stones. So I'll keep recording just in case I fall in because I'll be here. Uh, quite funny. Yeah, it's just over there so I'm going to walk down there. I'm going to walk across stepping stones. Just say I've done it. Oh, they're not exactly close together. They are very slippery. There we go. Made it. Looks like there's a little lake here. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is. Some ducks. Not too much. Alright, let's carry on. See if we can go past, back past these stepping stones without killing myself. Not record it this time, because it's really slippery. 